This is actually a very simple database. We have a table of products, and every product belongs to a certain category. Through a category ID, the foreign key, we hook it onto a table a, that has a, ca a category ID as a primary key. So what, what uh, are we trying to do with this database? Uh, I'm going to make a catalog of products. Every page has a new category with all the products in there, etc. How do you create such a one? And that's the first issue. The other issue is how do you create a list like this? It's an alphabetical list. And it shows everything in categories of C, D, E, etc. How do you make such lists? These are reports, of course. So how do you make such reports? Usually you want to base them on a query. So I have, a, for the first report, I have a catalog query that looks like this in design view. It has all these fields in there. So these are the fields that are that I want to show in my report. And then I added one more field, discontinued as a filter, no, and I don't show that. So that is the query we are going to use for the first one. And the query we are going to use for the second report looks like this. It's a little simpler. It is based on two tables again. Again, discontinued no as a filter. Once you make that query, you save it. Now, how do we make those reports? Create report wizard based on the catalog query. And let's say we want all the fields except the category ID. Next, it sorts already or it groups already by category name, description and picture. So let's keep it that way. Do you want more grouping? No. And sort them by product name. Next. Next. I'm just going to call it categories and finish. This is what it's going to look like. You probably have to do a lot more to make it look decent. Maybe you don't want these lines in there, the alternating lines, and you probably want each category on a separate page. So we go to the design view, and notice there that we have a huge picture field, so I'm going to move that to the right. The description probably needs more space. We have product name, quantity, etc. You, you probably want that more to the center. So I'm going to move them to the left. I'm not going to spend much time on formatting this issue. What we have at this moment is this. We want to get rid of these alternating lines and we want to make sure that every category is on its own page. How do we get off the alternating lines? You go to the, in this case, case, the page header or the category name header properties and make sure in format that the alternate back color is the same as the back color. So I'm deleting that part that solved that problem already for the categories, but not for the detail section. So we do something similar for the detail section. Click on the detail section header and delete for the alternate color under format that part. So now it looks like this. Okay. All we have to do now is make sure that every section starts on a new page, every category. So we go back to the design view, select the category name header, okay, and force a new page. 
yes before the section. So now we have this. If you show more pages, you will see that every section is on its new page. So now the other one. Create report wizard based on the list of products query. I move everything in there. Next. No grouping. We are going to do that all manually. No, no, no. We want them in the order of product name. Next. Tabular. I call it products and finish. This is what it looks like now. We don't have them in sections of A, B, C, etc. How, how do you do that? Because we could not do that through the wizard, we have to do that manually. Realize that when you go to the design tab, that there is a very important group and sort option. In older versions, there is a separate section for that. But it's basically the same idea. So in this case, it says at the bottom, sort by product name. That is correct. But we are going to add a group based on product name. Notice that you got a product name header. So we are going to put in there a copy of product name. Control C. Click in the product header section. Control V. And replace that with a formula. A function actually equals take the left part open parentheses of the field product name comma one character from the left and place that in there this is what we got so far a b c etc it, it doesn't look good yet why not because we are not doing that the proper way so we are going back here and we are going to say group on product name, more, you want more options. By entire value, no, by first character. I know you probably think we did that already in that formula, no, that is just to show the A, the B and the C. So now we got this. Why do we still have A, B, C, 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 C? Because in this section, we do the sorting before we do the grouping. So I'm going to move the sorting thing. I click on the, oh, on the dots there, click and hold, and I put it past the group of products. So we put them in a different order. Otherwise, it does the sorting first. So now I have one C, one G for all the products there. Let's get rid of the alternating system. So we do that for the product name header, the properties again, and delete that last second option. Do the same for the detail section. If, if you want each category C, etc. on a new page, it doesn't make sense in this case, but if you ever want to do that, then you have to make sure that the product name header section always force a new page before the section. I'm not doing that in this case. So we got very easily there a series of options. There is much more to report in access and there are many other issues that you may not be familiar with access is not an easy program so i developed a cd-rom that discusses all these issues and it has helped thousands of people to get more familiar with access here is the section on reporting tools and uh, but there is much more in access that you need to know in order to let your databases work well You can find this CD-ROM at genesispc.com.